thank you everybody for being here today. It's, uh, it's a pleasure for us to be here uh, on behalf of Sarah Walsh, a candidate for the 50th Legislative District in just west of Jefferson City and north of here. Uh, she's running in a special election. My name is Dan Meehan. I'm President and CEO of the Missouri Chamber. And on behalf of the Missouri Chamber PAC, we're very excited to announce our endorsement of Sarah's candidacy for the 50th District. We are confident that Sarah is the candidate that will represent the job creators and do what we need for a pro-business, pro-jobs, pro-growth agenda in the state of Missouri, whether it's getting the right talent for our positions that are available out there or driving the economic opportunities that we need. Sarah will continue the, the great successes that we've had in the last couple of years and uh, build upon that. So we're very happy to announce our support of Sarah Walsh for state representative. Sarah, would you like to make a few comments? Come on up. Well, I would just like to thank you, Dan, and thank you, Tracy, and thank you to everyone with Missouri Chamber of Commerce for your endorsement. It's such an honor. And I look forward to going here to Jefferson City and fighting for business and fighting for jobs and fighting for our families. Uh, it's so important, I mean, ha having good family-supporting jobs, which is what the Chamber uh, fights for every day, is so important to families and to the impact throughout our state. So I'm just really looking forward to fighting for that, fighting uh, uh, to push back against regulations. I believe that it is our people, not our government, that makes our nation great. And so thank you so much again, Dan and Tracy and businesses throughout our state. I'm looking forward to getting on board and fighting for you in Jefferson City. Thanks so much. Does anybody have any questions that they'd like to ask? Our candidate, soon to be state representative, Sarah Walsh. What are some of your favorite ideas for economic development? Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, as I go door to door throughout the district, one of the biggest uh, things that I hear is is red tape, government regulations that are just getting in the way, stifling our job creators, and making it just difficult. You know, they're spending more time on paperwork, some of our businesses, than being able to actually do what they do best. And so, you know, that's less time to help mentor their employees. That's less time to help sponsor uh, activities in the community uh, when they're busy uh, working on, on, on needless red tape. So sitting down with uh, the Ch Missouri Chamber and its members and with our local chambers of commerce and hearing from our businesses and being able to make common sense uh, solutions to be able to ensure that we are, again, not getting in the way of business is, is one of my top priorities. And uh, you know, one of the things the Missouri Chamber hears a lot is that we need to do more to improve the workforce in our state, and that there's an increasingly a shortage of, of workers for some of the jobs that businesses need. Uh, what do you think you want to do about that? Well, I think you know it's very important. Again, you know, some for some folks, their path is a college education, and uh, I have my uh, worked full time to get my undergraduate degree from Columbia College, and then later worked full time to get my master's degree from the University of Missouri in public affairs. But for some, some individuals would pursue a trade, and some individuals, um, you know, and there's demand and in, in those jobs in many communities. So being able to help train our workforce and encourage our college or, or excuse me, our high school students as to what path that they should take and to show them their options so that they make the choice for their future is, is, is so important to me. I just wish we had more sitting representatives and senators with a grasp on that issue because it's the most important thing we face as a state and as a country. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank everybody for being here and congratulations, Sarah, and go get them. Bring home a winner. Thank you all very much.